What's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. Okay, uh, BFF's another episode. Josh is out in Denver for the All-Star game. I, he's in showing us the Blue Jays. Yeah, he looks like, I guess the video may be different than what we're going to see. He looks like a mafia informant right now on our screen. <laughs> yep. we got to get a shot of what it looks what like. What we're seeing. Yeah, of what we're seeing. We can't even is, see his mm, eyes. It's kind of scary. Yeah, and I'm a, I, just keeping myself elusive out here in Denver. <laughs> and, and Bree is sick, so yeah. we got a great setup here for this episode. Um, but let's get right into it. Uh, the anniversary. We're just about at the one-year anniversary of, I, I guess, when you and I met, Josh, which we I post the story, and for people who don't know, um, it was Gruen, really. I think Gruen is who is responsible yeah. for it. And, and I recall what happened. Basically, the DeMeos, I think it was Charlie, there was drama that spilled over, really for the first time, in, that I had been paying attention from TikTok to Twitter. So I wasn't even on TikTok. But shit started going wild on Twitter. Oh, yeah. Everyone was talking about it. And I tweeted something like, what the fuck is all this stuff? I don't know anything. But yeah, I you were like, why are these wiggle dickers showing up in my feed? Yeah, yeah and I think I was like, <laughs> I, I know enough to know this. I should know what's going on, but I don't. Right. And, and then Michael Gruen, who was a Barstool fan, reached out. He's like, hey, um, there's this guy, Josh Richards. He's right in the middle of it, the ex-girlfriend. If you guys want to do an Instagram live, I was in Nantucket. It was like, yeah, what the fuck? We might as well do it. Um, yeah. And boom, we did it. I said, mm. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't think we'd like get along necessarily. I right. tweeted, I thought I'd hate you. I don't know if hate's a strong word, but I am. <laughs> thought you would not really get along with him. Right. I didn't know oh, what to expect. Be a fan. I get it. I didn't know what to expect. He's also young, so it was just. Weird. I'm yeah. I'm old. He's young. You don't know. They're wiggle dickers. But it's true. Now look at us. I know. So we did the video, and I think right away, like I realized, and, and I can tell generally quick. I'm like, all right, there's some sort of chemistry that we can do something together. Mm. I did think it would be the end of it. The next thing, Gruen reached out after because I think probably other people saw it. Like. There may yeah, be yeah, something it was, here. It was yeah. like Snapchat saw it and asked to do a show with us. Correct. That's what it was. And I had no yeah. interest in that. I was like, I don't no. want to like waste time on Snapchat. No offense to Snapchat. And then the next one was, well, would you guys ever be interested in the podcast? Boom. BFFs. How did you guys come up with the name, BFFs? I think I did just because yeah. like, obviously we wouldn't. It was like a mock of it because we're such different yeah. age difference. So, so yeah, like you were joke? just like, you were like, this is just kind of, you know, it, it doesn't really people wouldn't expect us to be best friends so it kind of makes sense for the for the title right like you just texted me over the title one time and i don't think it's either, good for merch yeah and, and, and it's i don't a great name yeah and it's a good logo and i don't think either of us i don't even know that we've sold anything with just like that logo like that on it actually we probably should at some point um yeah, we haven't no we haven't mm -mm. I, my thought people and i don't know what josh is thinking he's so busy i feel like a hundred times busier than when we started this i was like mm -hmm. we'll probably end up doing like six to eight of these and I, i'm like that'll get what i want to accomplish which is i'll introduce myself to his crowd and he'll get what he wants our crowd but yep. it started kind of increasing and becoming popular and here we are a year later yep fuck all the doubters alex cooper especially you seven episodes my <laughs> ass she knew me well yeah i also remember why and i've told this we i walked the first time we met josh i walked yeah. in and all of the sway house at that time was starting podcasts mm -hmm. and i looked yeah. around at the other people doing it and i i don't want to say i was insulted and i don't think tiktok <laughs> people knew like the outside world and our world but i'm like wow i gruen put me in a group of people that like I'm way better right. than these people. That he, it, was like, just, it was almost like insulting to be in the same category. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get it. In and I told Josh, world. I'm like, dude, our podcast. I guarantee you, our podcast will be the best and last the longest out of this. And when we start, somebody wrote something that ours sucked. They're like, this is the worst one of the bunch. It's that it doesn't have a focus. It's like, all right, we'll see what happens. We'll just see. Yep. Hey, last one standing. Look I think. who's still standing, baby. Yeah. Well, it's all like mm. the people, and I, I like a lot of the other obviously people that are content, but. If you have two people who get along inherently, you'll be able to find your way to find your groove. We added you, Bree, which was, I think, originally we brought in a couple other people, Little Sass, who people yep. love, but it Did just didn't fit. It didn't work right. And then, Bree, right. you kind of fit naturally. So here we are. 
Yeah. Well, it's the Still a complaint, I guess. Like, why isn't she on the logo? This, that, it's nothing as brave. We're just, <laughs> it took two seconds. I don't even know who created this logo. We should yeah, add you at some point. One day. One day I'll get there, yeah. guys. We'll Pro- think about it. Probably yeah. in the bottom or something. I don't know. Day porn. Yeah. I mean, Josh Richards. Maybe like super far off in the corner. <laughs> yeah, just where no one can see it. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. And we continue to roll. And I don't know whether we turn this into seasons or whatever. But um, And we're getting all the guests. Like we, We're yeah. getting to everybody. BFFs is the podcast to come on. Yeah. I, I, oh, yeah. I don't. We're figuring out. I could be in L.A., the I, well Arizona West Coast the end of July right. so I don't know if we try to um, like Summer Rae I reached out to got back she's like yeah I'm, I'm totally down we got to get wow you, we're gonna get every single side of that story on our podcast yep that's crazy yeah that's you gotta get Charlie and Addison Addison we have Addison coming on oh yeah we have Addison coming on In you gotta person. get Charlie and Dixie yeah. yeah yeah yep we should do that when we go to L A try to get them on I think we have is I think L A is about to be a clouded trip. I think so. Tana will be there. Yep, she says she come on. So we got we got a bunch of is Blazarian coming on here? Yes. Blazarian, Dan Blazarian. That's an yeah. interesting She's coming one. Coming on BFFs? Yep. Oh, that's crazy. In in studio. Yeah, in, in studio. Oh, so we nice. have a, a, a bunch of people, so a lot of stuff still in the way. Okay, Josh, all star celebrity game. Stayed up to watch I it. I am an all star. I am an all star. <laughs> How did this come about? How'd you get in this? Um Michael just asked me one day, he was like, Yo, you wanna play in the all star game? And I was like, Yep. Were you nervous? Honestly, I was – I thought I was going to be a lot more nervous than I actually was. I think, like, the night before, I was like, holy fuck, I'm about to go play baseball in front of so many people. And then when you got out there, you can, people just kind of wash away. Like, yep. You don't really see them. You're just, like, playing schoolyard ball. It's pretty easy. It's all – I'm always interested in this, and you were on the, the kind of the younger side. Who I did watch the game. I'm trying to think, who did I think was the biggest stars in the game? Was it Quavo, would you say? Biggest celebrity, probably Quavo, yeah. Anthony Mackie's pretty big. And, all right, so I always wonder that because there's different levels of it and, and how how you get along. Is everybody super nice? Yeah, yeah. I mean, pretty much everyone was dope. Quavo was actually, like, the nicest guy. I've, I, I, I got to admit, I haven't been jealous of a ton. I was jealous of that. That would be so much fun Dating. to, like, play Dating in the game. It. Right. Yeah, so we're going to do I, like we're going to do a BFFs. I I'm, I'm thinking we got to do a BFFs like All-Star game or home run derby or something. We can do a little draft. You pick from the barstool employees. We get some TikTokers in the draft. Do a nice little game. You know what's That'd crazy? Sweet. I've always and this is before your time, but you may know of it. I've always wanted to recreate MTV's Rock and Jock Softball. Have you ever seen that? Rock and Jock. I don't think I have. No. It it is like this softball, this crazy rules and field, but it was big for a time, like Bill Bellamy. I'm dating myself. But you get celebrities and you do a softball game, and we could probably have more more relevant to a degree. You don't have the old baseball players, but BFF, Rock and Jock softball game would be something. That'd be sick. Oh, yeah. Let's get it going. I'm down for that. All right, so you you we got the clips, Josh. Mm-hmm. Um, Want to just play? Well, well, yeah, let's play them. We're going to put them in no matter what. He gets a, a kind of cheap single. Yeah, RBI, it's whatever. Did you ever play baseball? Not one day in my fucking life. Right, yeah. <laughs> like, literally didn't pick up a bat until we went and did this. He co-hosts the BFFs podcast with Dave Portnoy. Josh Richards up to bat for Team Todd Helton, and it's going to be a tough really one. Karamo Brown <laughs> once again, another Vince at second base. It's a hit. Off Looks like a line drive in the book. Well, now, Got also. Second. Got to second. Let's go. Let's go. Do you think that was in his notes to say my name, or he just knew that? Who? When they're the, like, he ho- co-hosts oh, the, the with Dave Portnoy. Uh, like, oh, oh doesn't, doesn't ESPN, like, hate you, though? Oh, true. Some really? people at ESPN like us. Some hate us. I'd say more it, it – the hate has kind of moved. There's a couple of people who don't like us now, but right. some do. Like, they're bigger people. Like, Scott Van Pelt's a huge fan. He always has been. He's their biggest name they got. So, okay. Um, okay. Now, what How happened? I saw Jenny Fitch, pref- oh, arguably the greatest bullshit. softball player of all time, gas yeah. you. And people were oh. getting on your ass. That was bull- Nobody could hit that. And, by the way, it looked like. Ball. Let's- ball. Can yes. we just say ball? Ball. Easy ball. Anyways. I, yeah, show this. This is impossible. I felt bad for you here. It's like she's bragging. Bro, it was so dumb. And she came up after. She was like, yo, I'm sorry. I was only supposed to do it for one pitch. But then CC was mad because you struck him out. And so he wanted to do all three against you. So, so all right, really let's was. play the whole at bat here because this was bullshit. 
I felt bad for you here. People get on your I ass. I felt bad for myself, bro. <laughs> I'm sitting there like, there's there's no winning here. I just got to put a smile on my face and take this strike out after she threw the first pitch. I was like, oh, it's fucking over. Let's see if we can get the hole at bat here. To Chase oh, Carter. Yeah, here's the full. <laughs> Who is that? I don't know. She's a model Josh or something. Richards she looks like a No idea. Representing Canada. She blows one I mean, by him. They called that a strike. Such a ball. They called that one a strike? Did they call that a strike? No way. Yeah, that's a strike. That no was a strike. Way. So, I mean, that, 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 that's disgusting. Yep. That's, that's disgusting. And Jenny should get... be embarrassed. I, she should have been get... like, no, what are you kidding me? That's a strike. It's, she threw a fastball that no human could hit. All right, keep going. So, it's 0-1, like, yeah, which is crazy. I didn't see the umpire say <laughs> strike. Of all time, CC Sabathia. So, you got to swing there. Yeah, go, I was like, I'm just going to swing for it. Because I was like, whatever. And then I was like, that one was going high. So I'm like, all right, all right. But that was closer right. than the other, which they called the strike. Way closer. So I was like, I'm not swinging. And, and that's not a then. strike either. And that's only two because he didn't make that sign on the first one. Do a dance to that, Josh Richards. We're sorry. Jenny Finch did it so many times. Rock him out. You got fucked. <laughs> yeah, I'm sitting you there. You got just, pretty fucked. Like, there's, no, there's no way. I'm. And people are like on you. It's like you have no chance. Uh, Jenny, like she may strike you out. She throws down the middle. But come on, Jenny. That's garbage. The commentator threw a shot at the end. She was like, do a dance, Josh Richards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You <laughs> know oh what? God. How about you get there, down there and grab a bat, commentator? Let's oh, see you swing. By Let's the way, see you swing. Ted Williams, fucking Ty Cobb. Uh, anybody would not be able to hit that pitch that's not even close. So forget about it. You got fucked on that one. <laughs> Um, <laughs> yeah, it was whatever. No, it was all fun and games, though. Like, it was like a skit thing. Like, she came up and she was like, yo, I'm sorry. So I was like, ah, it's fine. It's whatever. Yeah, sorry, yo. It's like, now, I'm, now I got to go deal it's with like, this it's, shit. Yeah, I'm just going to get roasted online. So thanks. That's awesome. Because being a TikToker in a softball celebrity game didn't already have it. So exactly. Like, that's what I was saying. Yeah. and shit. Like, it's like me and Noah and Blake, the only three guys in the lineup. Every time someone comes up, the camera comes up, like introing us, whole stadium. Boo. Oh, really? Oh, God, that oh it was brutal. That it was brutal. I, I think Michael told me I had a little bit of cheers, but I'm not sure if that's just him, you know, like keep putting to me help on you. a hard one, like making me feel great. But no, it was it was Boo Central, bro. And it was so funny because uh, one of the Colorado goalies, like his nickname, like everyone goes like, Gru, right? <laughs> like it's like Gru. So then Noah's standing beside him or something like that, or Blake's standing beside him. And, and he turns to him and he goes, why are they booing us, eh? And then, and then he go, looks back and he's like, no, nah, they're not booing me, man. They're bo booing you. Welcome to sports. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, and, and that takes us into the next thing, which is uh, congrats, name the voice of Vans for the NHL, basically trying to get younger people to watch the sport, right? Yeah, essentially younger people, people like more from the States as well. It's just like not a very, I would say – loved game like it is in canada compared to the u.s and, and it, it certainly depends cities like the, i think the original oh 100 yeah. there's like places like michigan that's obviously like huge in talking minnesota's huge boston, in boston. It, it, if you yeah. watch like the movie miracle it, it kind of in, in a weird way mimics to agree that like you have the boston new england and then you have the midwest now don't get tampa if they're good they have fans now people again got mad about this right Oh, of course. Yeah, they were actually on my ass mostly about Barstool. Which is now not shocking to me because hockey Twitter is the worst. When I say it's, it's the most righteous, and I've said it a million times, what is insane is hockey, the NHL, is by far, by far Barstool's number one sport for athletes. Like, literally the right. entire NHL loves Barstool. They love 100%. It. Everybody in the locker rooms and the people who cover it who root for these guys, like these guys are awesome. Hey, Barstool, it's like you realize you're the guys you worship and yeah, idolize yeah. love, love us. Yeah. It's crazy. Spitting Chicklets, number one hockey podcast. Are, have you gone on yet? No, I haven't gone on yet. I'm supposed to, though. I don't know when I'm going we on. We got to get that schedule. Those guys are great. I, and people are just mad. I'm looking at these tweets. And I don't know who this down goes brown. Asked my teenager for a scouting report on the TikTok kid the NHL is working with. She said he was cringe and problematic. Then told me he made a diss track, at which point her eyes rolled so far back in the head that they made slot machine noises. Yeah, um, that's, that, that's that sound of money, baby. That's what that sound is. <laughs> it, 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 problematic, that. though. What are you problematic for? It, it, us Bro. being associated with us. BFFs? Really? Like we, Barstool? We sponsored Bruins towels mm -hmm. one year in the playoffs. And these 
reporters went nuts. It turned into a big thing. And and by the way, the reporters are like liars. Like we yeah. they they and I don't want to go too far into it on BFS, but I literally exposed them for for flat out lying about things we said. They retracted, changed it, never apologized to us. They're the worst. Um, so how did this come about? How long was this in the works for? Yeah, so it was it was getting talked about for a while. There was someone at the NHL. Uh, they came up and just asked me to do some like one off content, a few videos with them. They like maybe with a couple of the players, just because they knew I was from Toronto and loved hockey uh, and played growing up. So they were like. Uh, talking to Michael, Michael was like, nah, let's make this a bigger deal, as Michael always does. And then as we just kept talking, we decided to make it more of a larger partnership, which brought in Steve Mayer, started talking to him a bunch, talking about different ideas. Um, and then, yeah, it was the advise, special advisor to the NHL. Congrats again. I'm reading this other one from, and I'm not going to say the name, but a tweet, casting a white boy. What does that have to do with? anything that people love to just throw that in there yeah they always love it casting a white boy who's never expressed real interest in the nhl and who's best <laughs> friends with dave portnoy is probably the worst approach to uh growing the game these are the tweets i talk about like just patently false if people are listening remember when i asked your dream guest it was fucking austin matthews right exactly and you always also, talk about how much you love hockey too. and the leafs yeah also also they're so hypocritical because they're all tweeting about the, the NHL now. Right? Yeah. You got the eyes like, where they're supposed to be. They, they might be like, oh, he is such a bad show, blah, blah, blah. I guarantee the day that deal got announced, there were so many tweets about it. There was so much talk about the NHL. Do we, we once we were doing a live show before the Blues Bruins Stanley Cup. To show you how hypocritical some of these people are, we had somebody trashing us. Oh, they're, they're bad. They're this. That. This man had been arrested for armed robbery or robbing a bank. He literally had been arrested for robbing a bank. He's like, we're bad guys. It's like, dude, you robbed a bank. <laughs> what? Yeah. You actually committed a crime. Yeah, you, ro so. you robbed a whole ass yeah. bank. Yeah. So, That's crazy. Uh, Just stealing innocent people's money. Good for you. I'm excited to hear how that uh, – they're yeah. funny guys, That's Biz awesome. and Whit, how Pink Whitney goes. Um, oh, yeah. No, I'm excited for it. Moving on now, uh, Addison Ray, she – Worked the UFC fight. She did this tweet. I ah. studied broadcast journalism in college for three whole months to prepare for this moment. People went. Yeah, I was say, maybe the, the, the UFC fans actually worked Addison on this one. They she got destroyed on Twitter. Yeah. Absolutely ripped apart. And, and again, people are so fucking dumb. And I go back again to Barcelona. I never ask when we hire people like, do you have a journalism degree? Do you have writing? If you're funny or interesting, we use you. Like Addison Ray is going to bring eyeballs. It, it yeah, Some random guy that just graduated isn't going to bring anyone in. It, it, this isn't The UFC isn't charity. It's a for-profit business. You, right. you get people who help. Like they're not hiring her to be nice. They think she can bring additional 100%. publicity yeah. to the event. Just because you studied journalism, what does that fucking matter? Like, who cares if you? If I feel you, like her tweet's a joke, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. she one hundred percent. I studied broadcast. One hundred percent. That's got to be a joke. And she yeah, actually she rolled with this pretty, pretty well. I she thought. She did. But people are. It's no different than you see it in, in sometimes a golf tournament will give an exemption to a celebrity or Anna Kornikova when she played tennis and was getting all the endorsements because she's gorgeous and people are mad. It's like again, this isn't. These are for-profit companies. That's how it works. Yeah. yeah. So we'll maybe talk to her. Um, Charlie, I like, the, I like the tweet you guys put out. The, the just most, most hated, hated UFC commentator ever, and she retweets she it. She retweeted yep. it. That's kinda, she that's, it well. I, I love that. I love yeah. that she retweets it. She, she handled this in stride. Made me like her a lot more. I mean, I already oh, yeah. liked her. but uh, Charlie DeMeo canceled for twerking. So <laughs> this, this was tough for me. I missed an uh, hand up. I fucked the BFF podcast. You didn't go to Wait. this party? I was invited to this party. Bro. Are I had serious? a car service pulling up to take me. And, and I, Sylvana and I got in a little disagreement. We're like, fuck it. We're not going. And we didn't go. You know who was there? Little Huddy. Everyone was there. So, Everyone. So you're telling me you let a little bicker get in the front of podcast? Well, on. I didn't know Little Huddy was going to be there. Wow. I would have gone if Little Huddy because then I could have got him and, and forced him into doing it with us. Oh, but 100%. Yeah. You would have cornered him? I mean, there was also like there was also like Lil Luzi there. I mean, like, literally uh, everyone. Jay-Z was there. Uh, yeah. I think I saw Cardi B performing. 
James Harden got in a tickle fight with like um, little baby. Yeah, was there. Yeah. So the, everybody in the world was there. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was a huge party. It was Michael Rubin's Fourth of July white party. I heard it was going to be huge. It was huge. Noah was there. Beck, Meek Mill, Travis Scott. Um, oh, yeah. You and my roommate, down. my roommate was there. Love Anthony was there. Everybody was Everyone. there. Why didn't you go? Crazy. What were you doing? What was I doing? I uh, probably just not invited or something. I feel like of all these people, you know what it is Michael Rubin's though. You definitely were because Michael Rubin's daughter is a big like TikTok fan. So that no like, no no. I've talked to Rubin before. Yeah. I don't I don't I don't know if we just maybe I just wasn't invited. It's whatever. They I'll sent the invites were sick. They were like Ace of Spades custom white champagne bottles with like the date on it. Oh, okay, cool. Definitely Camp, you fucked us. Invite. You didn't go. Definitely wow. didn't get an invite. <laughs> I got an invite. Did not go. Let's see. Uh, let's see the videos that everyone's mad about. Why are people mad about that? Wait, how can you even be mad? She's at a party dancing. Why were yeah, I'm, I'm confused. I think it's just because she's got the good image. Okay, like, so nah. people were mad that she, that she was underage. That they thought she was in a club. I don't think they realized she was at this party and just because of her age. She's 17. I mean, her parents that sucks, bro. So. Imagine if every single time you went to do something, they she were just like, danced. you're only 17. You're only 17. You're only this old. That'd her comment brutal, is, bro. I'll do it again. Is yeah, that no, she, after she got in trouble for it? And she posted this picture was the last slide with 10 pictures. And she said, I'll do it again. So good. she was clapping back. Oh, Good. awesome. Gotta Love grow it. Up. Get over. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She's but I dancing. feel like it's a little bit just because like when when she when she started, it was just very like clean. You know what I'm saying? It was like a yeah. very good image. And I mean, she kind of felt like, oh, fuck, like, oh, fuck, everyone's tweeting about me. I should say sorry. You know what I'm saying? I feel like everyone that started social media really recently I always think when someone is attacking you online, you have to answer or like mm -hmm. they're right. I mean, to she get responded upset. Well. Yeah, she definitely did get upset. And her, like, her parents were there. I mean, Jesus. Right. Um, her, her parents were there. And like Dixie was there. Noah was there. It's Noah just, was there. Yeah, grow up. And she's twerking yeah. on her sister. It's not yeah. like she's twerking on some old guy. Yeah. Well, watch yeah, it, right? right? Um, <laughs> we launched Barstool Athletes. Is this this you think? Killer, this by the way. That, that was like, I, I've never seen. That was the biggest blow up ever. Huge. All over TikTok too. Was it? That's mm -hmm. why it's oh, here. Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of viral TikToks that Yeah. Okay, let's see let's see the TikToks. We don't know what we're doing with them yet. We're just figuring out very barstool as we go, but let's right. see. How many are there right now? There's 160,000 app division 1 applicants. Jesus. Which kind Jesus. of speaks to like Christ. how big we are with this demo. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, that's the first to form one. An alliance with me. Absolutely, I do. Good, good, excellent. Yep. So she started it? She was the very first one. She reached out there. and she's like, there. I love Barstool. Can I be a Barstool athlete? I'm like, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. It's like, I don't know. Send me a t shirt. I'll rep the brand. So it's like, all right, done. We'll do it. I told that story. If you do the math, we're sending sweatpants, a t shirt, and a hoodie to all the athletes. We now have 150,000 of those care packages. <laughs> so we're spending like millions on this. Yeah, this is yeah, wild. no kidding. I love this squeaky chair, by the way. This is so awesome. You're in such it's a fucking... scary spot. I haven't yeah. seen this one. You show me a pay stuff for $72,000 on it, I quit my job right now and I work for you. This is from our office. Green, green screen. This yeah. girl works for us. No. It's green, green screen. screen. Oh. Hey, Paulie, what's up? No, yeah, you know, everything's fine. Hey, listen, I quit. <laughs> And all I have to do is just like film Portnoy sex tapes like four or five days a week and I'm a barstool athlete. Well, so I don't get paid from this. Then what do I get? Free merch. Are you kidding me? Of course it's worth it. Nice. I might get to meet the color daddy girls now. Looking at your latest Better Earth Solar Panels Athlete of the Week. I might actually get to call her daddy. And if I'm lucky, she'll call me mommy. The fuck do you mean you don't want me? I'm the, on the swimming and diving team at Alabama. I literally roll on the tide. What the fuck do you do, Under Armour? Fair. Yeah, and, and everyone's asking, Todd. like, what are we doing? We're, we're getting there. We're figuring it out. Um, it blew up, like, way bigger than expected. It's, like, Very faster. parcel. Like, no agenda. And all of a sudden, we got... Uh, and shout out to Cream and Austin. They've been working on it, like, nonstop. 
people uh, one last thing on that people when they apply so we send like an email to every person that applies they're jokingly seeing tiktoks that's like i applied as a d1 blunt roller or like an underwater basket weaver and that's the stuff that's like going viral because they think they're becoming an athlete they'll never get through the process but basically they think they are just because right. we send them an email so <laughs> If you see D1 Blunt Roller with, like, Barstool Athlete in his bio. That's kind of sweet, though. <laughs> Just put the brand it's out there. We, I've had a bunch of girls be like, my boyfriend plays club. He sucks. Don't let him in. Like, <laughs> shit like that. Oh wow. My God. That, that's a terrible girlfriend. That's fucked that is up. a terrible girlfriend. I should say oh, some X is more than the current. But um, <laughs> this, this was a big brutal. story. FaZe Clan Bitcoin scandal. So four phase claim members. Little, little pump and dump action. Yeah, a mm-hmm. pump and dump. Save the kids crypto. Um, it's K, Jarvis, Nikon, Tico indefinitely suspended. The four were paid to promote the coin, but for dropping their own investments. Uh, phase clan statement. We have made the decision to remove K from Phase Clan and have suspended Jarvis, Nikon, Tico until further notice. Phase Clan has absolutely no involvement with our members' activity in the crypto space. Strongly condemn their behavior. Uh, the truest and respect of our fans has been, will always be number one priority. It's tough. Kind of an ironic name, eh? Super ironic crypto name. Save the kids. And then you yep. pump it Yeah, up. come on. It's Super tough. Super ironic. All that shit. I, I'm sure, Josh, you have. I've been asked to yeah, yeah. promote. I never do. I'm, I'm in safe moon, but it's like I, they didn't ask me to. I have no affiliation with it. I put my own money in it. I'm getting killed. But it's a dangerous game when you start taking money to promote shit you don't really know that much about. Or maybe you know it's a scam, but it's a very dangerous game. And phase plan, I mean, as they grow, this is the risk you run, right? If you just have all these people running around with phase and doing whatever they want. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not, they're not necessarily reporting. You can say they don't represent the brand. Unfortunately, they do. Probably have with Barcelona. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. (laughs) 100%. A lot of influencers are getting into it too. Yeah, I've seen so many I've influencers so doing many. the pump and dumps, and it's just like you guys the are Soldier all Boy gonna one. get fucked. You're all gonna get fucked, bro. Yeah, and I'm saying I'm reading what Phase K says. It was so irresponsible me to speak publicly about coins without knowing more, knowing now that they can do more harm than good. Of course, of course, dude. I mean, <laughs> it, it, it's kind of a no brainer. <laughs> yeah, it's like you probably just should know this, but yeah, fucked yourself. Um. Because especially if you're going to tweet out while I'm very passionate about the crypto space, if you're super passionate, you know what this is. A hundred. You, it, those are legitimately two direct, like, um, what's the word you, I'm looking for? Contradictory. Contradictory. Yeah. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank you. You Bert. can't. You can't be super passionate about this space and then just have had no idea what this humongous, like, yeah, you have to know crypto and these shit coins and and pump and dump is. Yep. There's like no way. I I don't even do a lot of crypto shit and I know about it. And, and even like if I, my safe moon, when I did safe moon in my press conference, I lay out like I know nothing about it. It could be a total scam. Don't right. do more. Like I'm doing it because I want to be in, but I'm telling you right now, like I don't know fucking dick about it. If you if you do that, then it's on the person, but not not the way they did it. Well, yeah, Kay was the one who after. So that'd be like if you dumped Safe Moon after dropping that video when you saw the price go up and then you just dumped it right away. He was the only one who actually sold every single coin that he had. That's so why he got completely removed. Removed, from right. And the others got suspended because they didn't necessarily sell all of it and were just kind of a vic- to me, know, victim. But that's crazy. That should that should be jail. It like, might be. I think it is illegal. Like there's no, 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 no. Like the IRS is going to start coming after these like, people. It, it's part of the, the the gray area with you don't know what's like enforced. Like the SEC does the stock market. You, if you do that in the stock market, you go to jail. I don't know that they have that type of enforcement yet for crypto. Um, I feel like they go backwards though, man. You know what I mean? Like they'll get it in four or five years. They'll like get the law, whatever they need, and they'll just go backwards. Like they don't they don't care if you did it today or yesterday or a month. It's like. It's not going to be the people that did it one time because there's so many people that have done it like one time and then never done it again or like didn't really get it. It's going to be the people that like continuously are running these pump and dump operations. They're all going to get absolutely fucked. Sienna May back on social media. Reminder, she was accused of sexually assaulting high house Jack White. Um, Sienna posted it for the first time since everything went down. Delete a 13 part explanation videos from TikTok. She says she was born to entertain, include her dance and video. The comeback video, I've been on Team Sienna based on what we know. Let's see the comeback. Yeah. Video. She's getting a lot of heat for the comeback video. Is she? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
I decided to take a month off of social media due to the negativity surrounding my platform. It was honestly one of the most difficult times in my life for many reasons. Yeah. But through struggle, I found clarity within myself and with who I want to surround myself with. My purpose in this life is to create. And whether that's silly TikTok dances or showing unedited photos of myself, creating and inspiring is what fulfills me. I know that this is why God and the universe have given me this platform. I preach self-love, but that takes time and patience. Now, more than ever, I feel proud of the person that I am. Even if I can only inspire one person, I will have done what I was put on this earth to do. We're all learning and growing, and more than anything, I'm beyond thankful for my family, friends, partnerships, and supporters. There's a song by Sam Smith that I think a lot of people my age can relate to. I, th I, thought, I, mean, I, I ain't gonna lie, I thought she was in a diaper for one second. <laughs> but I was super wrong. How many, like, what? How many people do you think were involved in making that video? How old is she? She's 17. See, 17. That's just two likes. And I guess it was a serious accusation, but you were put on the universe to create. No, you weren't. It, like yeah, it was very <laughs> dramatic. And then she turns it into this You were put on the universe to create? Fuck, you know you weren't. Get yeah, you're like right time, right place, blew up. And I like Sienna, but. I like Sienna. Too. She's cool. It's I just, just a little bit. It's like over dramatic. It's just too, yeah, dramatic. It's too dramatic. But that's kind of, yeah. that's kind of like, is that not kind of her brand? Is it? Well, that's what people are freaking out about. They're like, what is this? They said it looks like a car commercial also. And then they were like, why did nice. you just break out into dancing? I, I'd want to see who came up with it. Like, I, I'm not. Right, gonna, like who directed this? Like, yeah, and how many, like, right. older, like, marketing PR crisis people were involved. And, mm. you know, anytime you take a month off and come back with something, I. Her mom's been very, like, adamant and, like, uh, public about what she's going through. And when we had her on the show, she was kind of the one who facilitated it all. Yeah. So it might be, like, a parent thing. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I like Team. it. That just seemed so planned out and so thought it was out. Very it's that almost, it almost makes it, like, not sincere. Yeah, Correct. it was, like, it's too insincere. much theatrics. But yeah. I see people are also getting pissed because Jack hasn't said anything. Yeah, he hasn't said anything. Like, I mean, His he hasn't said stuff. a word. So people are starting to comment and be like, it's unfair you're letting this girl's life get ruined and you're not speaking on the situation at all. Can so, I agree crazy with that? world. Yeah. More yep. crazy stuff. James Charles, Charles posts an open conversation. How do, you, how do you post a conversation? Can we get that, that out of the way first? <laughs> it's a video. That's it's one-sided. You can't have a conversation. <laughs> he, yeah, yeah, it was. An open conversation, so how long is this video? Oh, it's long. So do we, are we watching? But we might do have we a cut clip. It? What do we got? What are we, what are we about to do? I really was convinced that I was able to live this, like, Hannah Montana double life fantasy where I could be James Charles, the internet persona, beauty guru during the day, but then later on I could bite my makeup off, get in normal clothes and talk to people on Instagram DMs or on a dating app or even hang out with somebody and have them see me as James Dickinson. And looking back now, I am so angry with myself that I was ever this delusional to think that it was possible. It's a lovely thought and a lovely idea, but the reality is they're the same person. In my last video, I mentioned that moving forward, I was gonna be asking every single person that I spoke to for IDs, make sure that this never ever happened again. And that's already something that I've been doing and has been working great. Everything that I've learned about dating in terms of protecting myself and red flags to look out for has been through experiencing something and not wanting that to happen again. I got called out for flirting with straight guys, so I stopped allowing myself to be a science experiment. I've been on dates before where guys have tried to take pictures of me on the DL, so it's now gotten to a point where a lot of times when somebody comes over, I'll ask them to leave their phone at the front door. Um, I've even been in situations where I had a guy over and I asked him to leave because he made me uncomfortable and he hit me, which was horrifying. But I learned from that and I now never have anybody over without my roommates being home. God forbid anything happens. Now I'm not bringing any of that up to ask for sympathy or act like woe is me. Once again, I recognize that these type of things can happen when you have a platform. It's up to me to protect myself and make sure that I am not allowing myself to be so easily accessible to let those people in in the first place. So that's basically just his return, he's saying. Okay, I, what, I mean, I, think, <laughs> I have no opinion. I, I don't, what, what, is, what does that have to do with, like, flirting with underage? Kids? Yeah, I, that's, that's where I was going with this. I don't see the correlation. Yeah, there was no really correlation besides the ID part. This is like a comeback of the week sort of thing. Like, we're. Yeah, it's like, it's, who's back? Right. Sienna's back. James is back. Each week. Who's next? Whatever. I, I mean, they're saying there's 20 people underage. It's a lot. 
whatever. I, I don't I don't have much thought on that. But everything he just said there, I mean, I'm sure Josh did. See, even I, I don't ask people to take away phones. I'd rather not. Yeah, it's a tough it's a tough situation. It's right. like, yeah. I mean, you got to think if you're doing like just to take a phone away, unless you're doing something. Like, if you're gonna go do drugs, you probably don't want people you snapping know, pics. Yeah, of you, doing yeah. pics right, and phone. Right, but if right. you're just chilling, yeah, if you're just chilling, who fucking cares? Yeah, if you're not doing anything wrong. Um, yeah, I don't know. Interesting. Uh, Bryce Hall and Riley Hubatka spark romance romance rumors. Riley is a TikToker with six point right? nine million followers. They've been sparking rumors that they seem making out in a club, but like every TikTok situation, they're denying everything. <laughs> Let's see them making out. That's the hardest Let's name ever. Let's watch some ever. people make that's out, the baby. Only name you've ever said right. We did talk about it in the meeting. We're like, there's no chance Dave says that name correctly, and you nailed it. It's the I only think. name you've ever s- said right. Ibaka. That was that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I would say they definitely just made out there, no? Yeah, 100%. But she was trying to say it wasn't her. I love watching people make out. She's saying it was not her? Yeah. Yeah. She's saying she doesn't go to clubs? Yeah. Oh, so maybe it's just not hers what she's saying? But it is. Because she she played with it in the YouTube video. Right. That's true, but that's clout. That's her. It looks like her. And then Bryce said Riley is like his sister, much like he said with Addison. To which Addison does re- this guy have a weird sister fetish? I think he does. <laughs> to which like, Addison replied, "I know you get deja vu." Mm-hmm. I know you get deja. Wait, she like because actually- he made yeah. So Bryce made the same sister joke with Addison with the paparazzi video, and then he made okay. the same one again in a video with Riley, and made the same exact TikTok that he made with Addison with Riley. Oh, he's playing mind games. Yeah, and then Addison hit him with the I know you get deja vu. Mm. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. So what do we think of this relationship, if anything? I mean, I don't know anything about the girl. I could barely see the video. Riley's so. cool. Riley's cool. I know her. She's a dope girl. Um, I mean, I don't think, do you think, think they're going to start. What? Do you think the relationship is real? I don't know. I really have no idea. They've been hanging I, out like, a lot. I also haven't hung out with either of them in like – a minute so i i don't know at all um she didn't i don't think i don't think pod. it'll be i don't think i don't see it being a relationship i would say. not not right now i meant oh. like we've talked to her like in the in the past Got but it. so maybe we can bring her on and ask her ourselves yeah i think sure. yeah let's idea. just ask her uh another karina Kumpf article oh, by the way so she what she go on she went on impulsive this is yeah. a clip from impulsive yep bad bad Tiss, mm. tiss she said she Karina. doesn't come on. Yeah. She told me when we tr- I tried to get her, she's like, I don't do podcasts. I DM'd her when I saw this, and I, I my DM was, I'm, I'm not mad. I'm disappointed. Right. So she just responded with like a, a crying emoji face. That's I. I think I think you could made a good call. She might have to be on the shit list now. That's kind I of bullshit to be like, I don't do podcasts, and then you go on impulsive, and I like. Logan and we're fans, but come on, we, you said you can't you be like. You don't do pods. Right. She did start that pod by saying, I don't usually do pods, but I said if I did one, this would be the first one I did. Keyword first. So maybe. We so could, let's hmm. see the clip we here. could get her now. Right. Is this because they had sex? Me and Logan actually didn't have sex for a whole year after we knew each other. But the reason why was because originally I asked you to get STD tested. She wanted to go together. No, I did I not. Said, I said, I just got a to test. Go. I'm not going a separate time just to have sex with you. Are That's you? why I think it, it really does bother me. People think I'm this fucking sex god in LA and I fuck all these people because I, I mean, I can't remember the last time I had How long has it been? Just out of I think every- I've had to like one person this year and it was Logan. <laughs> the dramatic music. I mean, funny. You can't be like, I'm upset people are thinking I said That's your cap, image. That's cap, your brand. Cap, cap, you think she's cap, capping? She's capping. I know she's capping. I know for a fact she's capping. Oh, I, you like, know. I 100% know she's capping. How how many do you know? I'm, I I mean, I, I just know of a, uh, like another person. I'm just saying. like yeah, You? Him? Was it you after that date? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Where no, are you at me. with her? I, I do not think I've texted her in a minute. Uh, let's see. What was the last? Didn't she? Uh, Aiden Ross? Was June 26th. Yeah, they were streaming, streaming together and stuff. Did you, it was yeah, Aiden they, Ross? They streamed, but no, that's not who. That's not who. That's not who. You're, you're not going to say it, clearly. By I, the feel way. Like, I feel like I'm going to fuck this person over. Like I'm, I'm not worried. Like, not Corinna as much as the other person. 
I feel like Corinna. Were would they in eat a relationship? Corinna would eat it up if if I if I said it. So do it. Like. Come I on. It would be good for. Her. Give us letters. We'll guess. I, I can't. I can't. One I letter. Can't do Give one. us one letter so we can put this I out as a clip. Can't do it, bro. One letter. I can't do it. In the name. It rhymes it with. Y'all ain't getting it. Damn. Trust me, y'all ain't getting it. We tried. Gruen. You know what I'm talking Gruen. about. Gruen. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Vinny he, knows who I'm talking about. Vinny Hacker. Knows. No, I said Vinny knows something. Oh, Vinny it was Vinny Hacker. No, 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 no. That's Vinny Got Heat, who is uh, Noah's photographer, is with him. Yeah, but, Not, it, yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying, does it oh. rhyme with Packer? We could just does start it rhyme a rumor. With no. Who she fucked? No. no. <laughs> Damn. I want to know. Who else? Uh, is it a TikToker? YouTuber? Yeah. TikToker. Yeah, TikToker. From my knowledge, I'm, I'm airing out shit. Well, God, we I'm haven't aired out anything. We're is no it Bryce closer. Hall? Does it rhyme with no? It's ball? not Bryce Hall. It's not Bryce Hall. Does it rhyme with, with Cuddy? Uh, who? Cuddy. No. Does it rhyme no. with Cuddy? No. It Does it Cuddy. rhyme with Heck? Nah, definitely not. Definitely um, not. Does it rhyme with Hay? Who the fuck is Hay? Blake Gray. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> shit! No, I don't know. Okay. No, I don't think so. No, not my knowledge. I don't think so. Who are some other TikTokers? Bro, you I don't think we're gonna that. get this. We're never gonna. And if you probably it. said it, and he's just not gonna say who I it is. I think. I think he. Sh- I don't think he has that poker face. I think if we got it, he'd hesitate. And laugh. Yeah, well, now he's in the dark. We can't even <laughs> talk to him. That's true. <laughs> yeah, true. I got my mob boss <laughs> room on, bro. You ain't getting shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy Williams handles TikTok death very strangely, following the murder of a 19-year-old TikTok swavy Wendy Williams who was stuck. Oh on- my god. She oh my is god, fucking bro. out of this her the- mind. No, 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 no. This is the craziest video I might have ever seen in my life. No, like she's the not there. All there in the head. She is absurd. Cra- How is she getting away with shit like this, bro? I don't know, but it is the most. I used to show. pull some crazy transitions on TikTok when I had a little like the segment on my YouTube. I had some pretty crazy transitions. Nothing like this. <laughs> this is wild. I have no idea who this is. Neither does Norman. Neither does one person in this building. Maybe Sus does. Uh, do you know who <laughs> Swavy is? Clap. Clap if you know who Swavy is. Okay. Sus? Nah, it's not my, it's not my cup of tea <laughs> that I got going on right now. Well, he's a TikTok star. He's got more followers than me. 2.5 million. Oh. On TikTok. On TikTok, but on Instagram, you have more followers. Yeah. Oh yeah, pop it up. Nice. This is so fucked, man. Well, as my son Kevin would say, no one uses Instagram anymore. What? And <laughs> as, as far as TikTok, I don't use that at all. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I don't want to be involved. She's too cool, bro. She's too cool. So here he is. Does she know he's dead? <laughs> he's 19, and he was murdered. Monday morning. What the fuck, bro? Like, what? That is a wild clip. I will wow. say. Wow. It's crazy. Wow. Hey, hey, guess what? I got more followers on Instagram than you, and you're dead. So, mm, tough. Clap it up. Like, Clap what? if you know him. He's dead. Clap That's... if you know him. No one knows him? No one knows him? Clap if you know me. That Plus, was I'm alive. evil. Like, bro, Jeez, shut crazy. up, Wendy Williams. Like, shut up. Oh, you'd be, you'd be dethroned. No, no pun intended. But the, the weird part about it, it I... Like, I could picture myself actually sort of doing that rant, not with, like, the death of, but, but, like, who is this person and how they have a gazillion followers. Right. And, but, uh, I mean, she on. honestly made it sort of seem like she was happy he was, he was gone. Yeah. 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 Crazy clip. Crazy clip. Um, Tana, who we still get on the show, is in a 72-hour relationship. Chris Miles, Tana's not boyfriend, boyfriend, 22-year-old rapper. Got to start at 13 on America's Got Talent. Do we – what? what why do we care about this? Tan is just always in the news, but who cares? Yeah. She, this seems like, of course, she has. Doesn't she always have a 72 hour relationship? Isn't that her like. She never jam? really like uh, says she wait, has wait, wait, a boyfriend. Wait. So she had a boyfriend and now they're already broken up. Yeah, yeah. So she had this boyfriend. She tweeted, like, I finally have a boyfriend. And then two days later or three days later, <sighs> she was men gone. are trash, canceled. I mean, I don't know how serious it's going to be with a guy who has Tyson like tattoos on his face. Yeah, I can't believe they were dating right. to begin with. When they when and they tattooed the jawline on, 
it's a little uh, tough. It's a little yeah. tough to suspect that it's going to be more than three days. Yeah. Tana also bought David Dobrik's old house. Okay. Um, <laughs> we got some videos to react to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I know what this first one is because Paul sent it to me, and I have no idea how hey, he hey, saw hey, it. Hey, 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 Dave, did you skip this one on purpose? Which the one, one that says David has no closet space because he wears the same clothes, so Tana's clothes don't fit. What is I that? wear is tight clothes. You, Dave? Oh, I is saw Josh's you? comment on your picture. Yeah, bro, w- what the fuck is that with you just like full moose knuckling in your picture with like your family or something like that? Like, I was what, at a what, wedding. Up with that? I was at a wedding. Yeah, that's even worse. That's you're, even worse. You're wearing leggings at a wedding. What? Those aren't leggings. You're trying to steal fit? the attention nope. at a wedding, dog? Listen, just have your know- dick blatantly <laughs> out in like the open? You, you actually could have been naked, and it would have been less distracting. I was wearing <laughs> box shorts, box of briefs, pants. Listen, everyone knows Leggings. how this works. You go to Italy, and those are loose clothes. I went to Italy six years ago. I used to wear baggy clothes. I went to Italy. Everyone's tight as fuck there, high and tight. I changed my whole look. Those pants, you go and buy them there from theory, size 32 waist. That's what I am. That's how it is. Whatever. People try to intimidate me out of the tight pants. It ain't happening. Likes the tight pants. We're not going to shame him out of them. Nope. Could have been. And by the way, it gets the people going. It's my by far the most comments I get on anything. I have two pairs. One's black. One's like beige. I would have worn a suit. I was coming from the Hamptons, not my New York apartment. I didn't have access to it. That's all I had. Uh, But yeah, people going bananas. Yeah, I mean, that guy's head is like right in your dick, bro. Za, my guy Za. (laughs) Yeah. Za, yeah. shout out him. I, he probably had a tough ass wedding just staring at your ball sack. All <laughs> yeah. Time. Not, again, high level with it. I mean, these comments, I thousands apo- of likes. It was like. Can 4, you breathe, fam? I apologize <laughs> for. I've made a video about the response over the black. I apologize for none of it. Go to Italy. Go to Europe. <laughs> They're ahead of us in fashion, and this is how they do it. <laughs> hey, Dave, I can see your portnoy. <laughs> That's fucking funny. That's awesome. There's a lot of. Uh, I made a video of the reaction. It's the same exact. Remember, I made the reaction video. Yeah. Same exact. Same pants. <laughs> and they're coming back. I'm going to Saratoga. Bro, this weekend, this, I again. did you say his name's Za? He's dripping. He is so Za. Yeah, Za's bro. the best. So Za, here's the story on Za. We like four or five years ago, we were doing Barcelona Radio. We used to have our own station on Sirius, and it was like how, we were talking about how many black people do you think like Barstool? And we're like, I don't know. We're definitely middle class white. Za right. called into the show. He's like, don't undersell yourself. A lot of black people love Barcelona. If they get the humor, they know what you guys are about. And he's like, in fact, I'm a midget from Zimbabwe. And I was like, no fucking way you are. He's like, I swear right. to God. Called him he's out. like, all right, prove it. Come in. Next day, Sa shows prove up at the it. office. <laughs> and we meet him. And then he, he actually was very funny. But the day after, he hits me up. He's like, just as a side note, I need a job or else I have to go back to Zimbabwe. I'm like, you know what? You're fucking hired. We'll figure out what you do next. He's awesome. He's been here for like five years now. Oh, yeah. yeah, he's the best. I didn't so know So did you guys sponsor him? Did you give him like a visa and stuff? You need like a green card like to prove that you have a job. You couldn't get there, I think, is how it works. Okay, okay, cool. Hey, hell yeah. So yeah, he got a green great card. Guy. He's like awesome. A great guy. He's um, hilarious. Okay, so videos to react to. I thought it was a thug. I, I, I don't know what the fuck is going on in the world today. I wake up and I see this. That's Dave Portnoy's little tan leg and his girlfriend's Instagram story, and they're getting what? A matching finger tat? What is the summer turning into for everyone? Don't tell <laughs> me that's true, man. Don't tell me that's true. Yep, finger tat. You really pulled the, the Jaden and Nessa, eh? If I yep. recall, you said that the matching tattoos were such the yep. worst. Let's get it. Let's world. actually get a when replay. When did I say that? that? Uh, every oh, time about, we talk oh, about them. Every time, bro. Every time. <laughs> I don't time. recall ever saying that. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing ever. I oh them. <laughs> them That's a yeah. good impression. I, I don't uh, find proof of me saying that. You. I don't want to just automatically side with Dave here, but we did try finding a clip and couldn't find that specific thing. Like we dug every episode of BFFs and could really? not find it for like Thank 24 you. hours. I don't want to defend okay. Dave on this, but okay. I don't, I don't think he I don't said like that. to be on the side. I, at all I on think this what one. my issue was is Nessa was get a- dating you, and then 10 seconds later had matching tattoos. It's like what the right? Fuck? They're they're just a little more intense, I yeah. guess, yeah, and yeah, like a switch. Yeah, I think Griffin. Like, did say that something about matching tattoos and then said how like dumb they were. So Griffin might have that opinion. Maybe. But maybe it was I have Griff. no problem with it. I don't know. Is that your first tat? So first tattoo. How'd it go? What's the what's the Yeah, what's can the we see it? Show it. 
Let me see it. Oh, is it upside down? Yeah. No, no, kinda, I think is it like a wave or something, bro? Too. We have the same tattoo. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> me and oh, Bree have literally the same tattoo. This is super good. This is, uh, this is getting worse. Maybe mine's better? actually a five, know. but it looks like an S. Mine's an S. Yeah. But it also looks like a snake. Swamp Scott's my hometown. So, so oh, shut stool, up. bar stool. Swamp Scott's my hometown. Sylvana's name also starts with an S. So there's various. So it was just the name. It was just the name. It's thing. Sylvana. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah it's just didn't it hurt at all. Name. You did you, not hurt at all. You put no, the you put the really stool hurt. and the other things in there to make it sound a little more manly. And no, 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 no. Her, she's got a D. Name. So there you go. Beautiful. Exactly for Dave. It's a beautiful Correct. love story. Yeah. Um, Bryce Hall thinks he's exposing. DS. I was actually nervous Wait, about it. Didn't hurt at all. Now I'm a tattoo guy. Are you going to get more? If hey, you, so we're going to get hella tats now? We're just going to get yatted let's as a Let's get Dave group? yatted up. If you don't know me and you see this, it adds edge. So I don't hate it. But like, oh, what the? Like, <laughs> you what? should get all yeah. it. Yeah, you got to like, get look, like no, a, little, a little hoodie prodigy, The fingers prodigy, look cool. Bro. Yeah, it looks like a snake. Yeah, um, we bring this to life. Let's bring the BFF's tats. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, I forgot about these. Oh, shit. We got to do them. Got to do them. I look yoked in there, too. I have to be scary, too. BFFs, I don't See, know how scary the, the, a tap the, that then is. Then you can flex the BFFs tap, bro. We'll start dancing because we're just yeah. so yoked. Uh, Bryce Hall thinks he's exposing a girl. Sweet. This girl is so talented, guys. Listen. Bars. Bars AF. Face. Don't care for Austin, but at least he put you in your place. Famous Talent. Fighter, or did I forget? Maybe it's from Bars this. Bars says. Claimed to so he's posting what he thinks is a DM? Yeah, no. He's no, it is a DM a from her. It's just, it was like from a year ago. Yeah, and it's literally. So it's like she did go to his party. She That that story is true. She did DM him that shit, but it was from February 28, 2020. And it's like we're in. And he thought it was like a big diss to post that. And, and the, yeah, this is like, the oh, DM? That's the DM. The DM is, yeah. hey, Bryce, I was at your party tonight. My boyfriend lost his bar mitzvah ring. It was gold with Israeli words on it. It's really important to him. So if you happen to find it, please let me know. So he thinks that's the diss? Yeah. Because it's like she's dis making a diss track on him and saying like he's a shitty dude or whatever and like all this. But then like why would she go to his party then if she doesn't fuck with him? So that was his point. But – it's from a year and a half ago, so it kind of... And I think the original, my reaction is, like, he's posting, like, hey, you're in my DMs. But but like, it's about her boyfriend's right. ring. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. We have a lot more videos to react to. Okay. Yeah. Jake? It's a video pod today. Yeah. It is a video pod. Jacob Satoris and Dr. Fauci. This is unreal. It's great no to meet you, Dr. Me. Fauci. I had a couple <laughs> questions about the vaccine. We don't know the long-term negative health effects of the COVID shots. A lot of rumors about, you know, phones <clears throat> sticking to arms. Can you help me weigh the pros and cons of getting vaccinated? That's a great question, Jacob, that a lot of people ask. And a lot of the things that you're referring to are just ridiculous myths. You know, do I become uh, magnetic? Do you put a chip in me so I could follow you around? <laughs> that kind of stuff. They gotta, you got to use your TikTok medium to debunk that nonsense. The benefit of the vaccine overwhelmingly outstrips any of the theoretical risks of something bad happening to you. But if they occur, they're spectacularly rare. Well, thank you so much. Well, you're welcome. It's a pleasure to be with you. Take care of yourself. Should I relax my arm? Oh, sure. Because my heart's not relaxed right uh -huh. now. That's that's awesome. You happy, Doctor Fauci? It doesn't surprise me. Fauci will go on anywhere. He went on PMT. Well, if you go, yeah, he, he was went, with every TikToker. Yeah. Just trying to spread it, but Satoris, funny visual. Um, <laughs> oh, BFF yeah. sounds like parrots repeating each other. I seen this one. I seen this one. I thought this, this one was funny. This actually made me laugh. Yeah. He's milking it. Like milking the situation. I can milk it for, milk it for, milk it for money. <laughs> Are you still doing those? Are you like still oh, thirst traps? 100%. 100%. On one time. Oh, yeah. 100%. Okay. All right. Probably, so there's probably something going on. Probably seen you're seen today. Okay. Probably seen her tonight. Maybe seen her tonight. Backfired a little bit. Uh, yeah, backfired a little bit. Great wrestling. Great, great wrestler. Yeah. Okay, so. No way. <laughs> no way? No way. If we get into it, it's like opens it's, a yeah, it just whole opens, new world. It opens a whole new That's world. That's the point. You don't, you don't want World War Three. No. You don't want it. Just saying. What do we call it? Might have thought of something here. Yeah, what do we call it? Might be it? like Bryce was touching her touching hair her or hair. something. I was there. If you're touching somebody's hair, Imagine that's you're flirting. Just touching my hair. I, I've never seen him but. talk for more than 
I've actually never Five seen minutes. him talk. Yeah. That looks like Bob Believable. Ross. That's what I was just That's what it say. was. Like, it was that like is some one of those type Bob of Bob Ross. Ross. Yeah, but have, have you ever tried to do Bob Ross? It, it ended yeah, up being yeah, like yeah, I was yeah. just like the scapegoat for it. <laughs> yeah, Dave was a scapegoat. Brianna, you bought her OnlyFans. Yes, I bought her OnlyFans. Worked a <laughs> shitty job in a cubicle. <laughs> Dave. All right. I mean, self-explanatory. That's funny. Yeah. I mean, video, video title said it really. What the right fuck there. is yeah. this one? Guy shoots his shot at Silvana. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck, Dave. Damn, you found his head. You better not hey, have gotten a uh, fucking matching finger tattoo or something. Are you serious, my brother? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That was awesome. That was awesome. He's wearing a Team Holy Portnoy shit. shirt, too. Not, yeah, yeah. Not no, we can, hey, we can take him. We can take him. Not man. a great Team him. Portnoy guy to be doing that. Yeah, what the hell? Trying to steal your girl like that? Yeah, that's... that's I I feel like... I feel like he, he knows you got the bag secured. Don't worry. Vinny Hacker responds to saying he can't flirt. So if you guys didn't see the video, Vinny claims to have no game. I definitely don't have game. I have zero game. I want to see your best pickup lines. I, I want to see if you have game or if that's even possible. I'm sorry, let me be innocent. Yeah, 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 please. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> hey, you really are bad at that. I love this how awkward this doesn't equate for the ride over here when you were on Tinder swiping through every girl going, Mommy! <laughs> <laughs> you have a Tinder account? People have like posted on TikTok, they're like, Oh my god, Vinny has a Tinder account. I comment, I'm like, Nope, that's not me. <laughs> Is it you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I can't believe he has a I Tinder say though. I, like, I, do you guys have Tinders? Would you have a Tinder? Imagine if I answered yes to that. I know. My, my previously, yeah. would nice. be being previously. dribbled down the street right now. No, I yeah, never. Yeah, Dave, Dave would go home and his finger gets fucking yeah. cut Chopped off. off. I, I don't have Tinder. I've never had any dating account. I feel like it's hard to have a Tinder yeah. when you're like to that. And, and why do you need it? Because your like, social Instagram is basically the same thing. That's what I'm yeah. saying. DMs are pretty much Tinder. We've talked about Raya on this show before. The celebrity one. Oh, yeah. Remember the you yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Last one. Jake Paul, Sleepy McGregor chain. Oh, this was this was brutal. All right, check it. My new one hundred thousand dollar Nyquil McGregor Sleepy McGregor chain. Thank you, sure. Benny the Jeweler. No we Let's got go. A, we got one characters each over here: VVS diamonds with a hand painted enamel of Sleepy McGregor. Yeah. Hey, McGregor, you better win tonight. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to fight because if you lose, your career is over, and that fifty million dollar offer I gave you won't be on the table anymore. Don't go sleepy, sleepy. Good night, McGregor. What a fuck. Bitch. What a chain. Yeah, that's yep. crazy. I, I then, said from day one, loses too. they are going to fight. I believe yep. that from day one. Also, his next fight is in Cleveland, end of July, and I'm on the uh, telecast, the Showtime telecast. We're actually sponsoring oh, the fight. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Wait, so, do you think he'll that's still the, fight that's McGregor the after he lost? Right? August yeah, 29th, April. not July. August 29th. Yeah, he, he will fight. Yeah. I, yeah, that doesn't matter. They're both such good talkers. Um, I think that's about everything. Who's our guest today? I think it is Jake Paul. Oh, Jake Paul. Oh, perfect. perfect. Yes. Yes. Good Jake segue. Paul. What's it like being the best person alive? There's only one way to find out, and that's by unlocking your full human potential. That unlocking can only be achieved in one obvious way. You need to change your underwear. You can free up valuable mind space by never again having to worry about bad underwear issues. Pair of Thieves makes stylish underwear built to perform and comfort. They're engineered in a unique magical mesh for the ultimate in junk comfort. These are basics designed in stylish prints and colors built in top grade materials for sneaky performance. Change your underwear, change your life. Superfit underwear combine lightweight performance fabric with an engineered fit for unrivaled junk comfort. They're available in multiple silhouettes, box briefs, long box briefs, trunks, and briefs. Use code BFF25 on parathieves.com to get 25% off your next purchase and change your underwear to change your life. Uh, use the code BFF25 to get 25% off your next purchase at parathieves.com. Sorry. Okay. Yep. Good? <laughs> Go. All right. Uh, all right. We got Jake Paul second time, actually. First time yep. was, he was, I think, hung after over the, in bed. was it the Nate Robinson fight? Yeah. 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 yeah, hung over. Yeah, it was the morning after, I think. It was, yeah. which yeah. is kind of when you exploded onto the scene. Yeah, I, I woke up and I was like, oh, I got to bust out this podcast, but I was hung over. 
Do you remember, by the way, I was asking, I I was talking to our people. So I did the, because of Nikisa, who I've known forever, I did the Dana White thing yesterday with you guys for, in the ring. I really didn't know. People are like, you're going to be the Dana White guy. I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, they they will give me more information. I, I don't know why I'm going, but I'm going to see what it is. And I was talking there. Do you remember when you were in our office and we were like doing that dad thing all over the place? Like five years ago. <laughs> yeah. time ago. Mm-hmm. Before Barstool was Barstool yeah. and before yeah. Jake Paul was Jake yeah. Paul. Yeah, yeah, it's like Come you're wearing like the Team Portnoy yeah. like the video is hilarious. and we're just dabbing There's around a video. Is this the video? Yeah, oh, we're dabbing this is around awesome. this. Yeah, yeah, we're dabbing this. around a green like screen. <laughs> yeah, play that. Play that video. This was like... Oh, no. Like, play the dab shit. Oh yeah, we introduced you. We're like, here's our new Some member. Some WWE shit because going on. Because we didn't have a lot of these guys. I'm like, I gotta get his audience. <laughs> this is the first time we met. You look like a baby. He does. We were young. I, I, we were just I young kids. Baby. 2017. Baby. How old were you in this? For like... This 19, is the old office. My age? Like 19, yeah, yeah. yeah. This was the old office, so it's at least five or six years old. Yeah, it was yeah, in like New York. Yeah. I had this no is, idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That's so oh. wild. It's like crazy that wow. come to this. Yeah. It looks like you guys have ticks. Yeah, no, I, that literally, so as I was walking in, I'm like, do you remember when we did this shit? Now anyway. I, now I knock people out. This is great. <laughs> yeah. I'm ashamed be using, of my old self. This will be using like a hype video against you, though. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. We'll take that. yeah. yeah. Uh, wow. I'm sure you've talked about it. I'm an internet guy, so I appreciate everything you kind of do and i think you're you're almost revolutionary the mm. mayweather gutcha hat pre-planned <laughs> no not so no. how did you have the shirts out so fast uh or, so, or the hats out yes yeah, so, yeah yeah <laughs> so i i get into the car like 10 minutes after it happens and uh me and, me and gus actually are sitting there and we're and we're like we came up with this idea we're like we need hats right now and i swear to god as soon as i uh, said that out loud. My merchandising company, Fandroy, the, the CEO, texted and said, We're, "We need to make hats right now." And the designer had it done in five minutes. And then five minutes later, it was live on the site. Do you know how many sold? Uh, thousands. Like so, it killed. Yeah. yeah. For me, those moments, and I loved it. I watched it a hundred times. I love the fact <laughs> yeah. you just ran to nowhere. Ran into the Bro, I, like, oh, I was so awesome. awesome. I was, was so awesome. Away. I thought I was going to get really away. You really thought you were getting away. It was like a wall. <laughs> yeah. One step. But it's like for people who, and, and, and obviously what makes you you is your lightning rod. There's very few people I think that you see who don't have an opinion one way or the other. But that move. Polarizing. People don't, that's a genius move. Yeah. Like there's so few people who can create. And Mayweather, I asked because Caleb interviewed Mayweather right after a Sunday conversation. Well, that shit was so funny. Yeah. And Caleb's the GOAT. The funniest <laughs> interview. So in the good. Room. And, and Floyd, Floyd like had no idea what was going on. Yeah, he, well, yeah, he didn't. His crew <laughs> maybe a little, but the no cap, no cap. But no, I was no talking cap. to Caleb. I'm like, is Mayweather mad? Like, is he really mad? He's like, he's fucking bullshit. And that, this guy has been in every fight, yep. and fought everybody in every venue, and you got one of the Pauls come around and do a gutcha hat, which is so, <laughs> like second grade, it just but like, it worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It worked so well, it was so good. Cherry on top. Yeah, yeah. so he was, he was pissed. Floyd has actually called people and like said out loud that he's like trying to send hits after my life and put me into a body bag. Really? Yeah, wow. and, cause, and cause I took his wow. stage on Clubhouse. He was doing a clubhouse. You seen that? I fucking saw that. Yeah, we invested in clubhouse. So I was I got sent to me by like fifty different people. Bro, of you just so going into the room, joining in, and trolling that. So out funny. Of He's talking on a stage, like promoting his bullshit thing, and. I come in, I'm like, got your stage. <laughs> and he's like livid, like starts calling people after saying he's gonna kill me and like all this stuff. I'm like, bro, so this, and that's guy's, cool. this guy's a clown. But it's funny because my mom is like jumping, literally going to the Floyd versus Logan face off, is like talking shit to Floyd. And then like gets in a little Uber, like jots on down somewhere else. And then I'm facing off against Tyrone. Like I saw her the most innocent like, little, middle America, yeah. like mom looking like, oh, yep, she's the mom. What is, like, is she ever like, what she the hell's going some, on? some killers. Right, yeah. <laughs> is she like, what, what did I do raising these kids? Uh, yes and no. Right. I, she's very supportive and she's also like very smart. It's definitely like wild for all of us. It's pretty surreal. Um, but she understands it and like is competitive and like loves to see us win. Does uh, she travel with you guys everywhere? Not everywhere. No, she lives, she lives her own life, but she comes to like the big, the, shit. The big events yep. and is there when we need her, but she's very involved in both of our lives. Um, 
and is is just like the best mom ever. I love you, mom. If you're watching, shout out, mom. Shout out, mom. How much right right now you're coming across as? And this is something that I said when I met you the first time, and people are like, "What's he like?" I'm like. They're calculated. I meant that in a way. It's like the cameras are on. He's performing. Cameras are off. Normal dude that you're you just can sitting. turn it off. Is that off still so it, it, like, the yeah. fight persona that you got going on right now? Is that how much of that's you? How much is that you're selling tickets? Um, it, it's both. I mean, it's it's a it's a version of myself. Uh, but you know, it's a show business, right? Yeah. Like, no yep. one wants to see some boring shit. If we're, yeah. And so you have to be smart, calculated, and. I have this, you know, little problem child inside of me. So I, when I'm in fight mode and when I'm talking shit and when I'm doing these interviews and, you know, training, I, I become the problem child. Off, like, off the fight game, I'm, I'm just the normal kid, like you said, Jake right. Paul. But if you want to be the best fighter and you want to knock people out and take on real competition, you have to be crazy. Right, you have to have the attitude. Yeah. Because when I was filming, when we filmed the Polaris video at your house, the way you were able to turn, like, on and off like that almost persona like when we turn on the cameras it's like so high energy and then when we turn them off we were all just chilling it was yep. just like oh it's just talking that was boys, the first time when he was like, at our office i know yeah. too what about um the the bet that you challenged woodley to was By that way, was that on the spot move. or were you like i may i may throw this at him because i actually talked to so robbie fox huge mma guy for us loves it like follows the sport closely he didn't know why i was going to be the dana white guy so i sent him the clip and he's like what are your thoughts being close to both of them on the fight I said, I'm pretty confident in Jake. A, huge size advantage. B, yeah. the bet. Like, the bet that you made <laughs> wasn't just, and for those who didn't see it, I'm sure we'll put it yeah. in the clip, mm -hmm. but he essentially said I'll, uh, to, to Woodley, I'll bet you your purse, and if, I, if, if you lose, I'll donate it to your charity. You if you're so confident, if you win, I'll double your How purse. You if you win, I'll double your purse. Ooh. But if you lose, but if you lose, oh, yeah. So it, it was a bet that is very agitated to him because it's not going back. Was that pre-thought? That also gave me confidence to you because if you're really it. confident yeah. that you're gonna I think you taste that bet. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. No, it was pre-thought out and I knew he wouldn't accept it because mm -hmm. like I'm gonna put you on the spot like that. Put your money where your mouth is. All yeah. these all these fighters are so tough until they have to bet on themselves. Think about this, this is the biggest payday of his life. I offered to double his purse. Right. So it would have been the biggest payday times two. And he, he didn't want to do it. And then mm -hmm. if you lose, the money gets donated to charity. Put him on the spot in front of everyone, and he folded. And you see him afterwards in Instagram comments, like, trying to Back get out of it. Or, like, yeah, oh, yeah. He, this isn't legit. Yeah. I need to see the contract for that bet. Like, bro, you're, you're a clown. You got embarrassed in front of everyone. Mm -hmm. And you didn't take the bet. If if he would have said the same thing back, a lot of people were like, "Well, all right, well, Jake, well, would you have taken that bet?" I mean, you uh, offered in a heartbeat, in a heartbeat. And by the way, Tyrone Woodley has nowhere near the funds to pay me double my purse. So like, that's why it's legit. Like, I I can easily pay this guy double his purse. If he makes the bet back, I'll take it, but he can't pay me double my purse. So what? Uh, well, it, it, I've talked again. I know your team a little bit, and I'm always fascinated by this, which is maybe the business aspect. And Josh and I were talking. We have the quotes here underneath, and you're going to hear them as you continue to win and become one of the biggest draws. Like I think Stephen A. Smith is he's, he's going to yep. fight a boxer and this and that. Um, the choosing of opponents to me has been brilliant. Because you keep stepping up, but there's, there, there's an element like of doubt. And I was trying to do my whole speech, MMA. Like, he's clearly not at the top of his game. He's, he hasn't won a fight in three, four years. How involved are you in picking the opponents? And we asked this before. Do you actually care whether someone says, Jake Paul, he's a top five boxer? Or do you just care, bank check, bank check? Because if it was me, and if I can sell a million pay-per-views, and keep going against guys that I don't truly feel can touch me, that's what I would do. I'd do the money. So where do you fit on this? I, I'm somewhere in the middle of all of that. Like, I actually want to challenge myself, and I think Tyrone is a real challenge. I have to take this more serious than any other fight, and he's a real threat. Is he's, that the first time you said that about an opponent? 
Yes. Did you say that about Ben? No, I didn't say that no. about Ben. Yeah. He, Tyrone Woodley is a real threat with knockout power. He's knocked out some of the best fighters in the world. Five-time champion, explosive, you know, has like an eight-pack. You know, he, he, <laughs> he's, he's, a, he's a real guy. But that's what I want to do. That's why I fall somewhere in the middle of actually challenging myself. But me knowing deep down, like with all that said, I just have to be super alert, cautious in the ring, and I think I can take him out in two rounds. Um, wow. And... I want, I want to build up the pay-per-views. I want the fights to become bigger and bigger. And a lot of people hate on like the opponents I've picked or whatever, but if you look at some of the best boxers of all time, Floyd Mayweather, Mike Tyson, who did they fight in their fourth pro fight? These 100%. Are, these are guys who are 0-2, 0-4. Tomato cans. Yeah, yeah they're, just, 100%. they're called journeymen, right. and they just sign up to get knocked out so that they can build up the record. But I'm put on a different pedestal. But what's weird is that people don't, want to call me a boxer or, or show respect but then they want to say like you have to fight a real boxer so when do you think you will fight a real boxer i mean we, we we've tried to make deals happen but it's like who, what fight makes sense there's not that many boxers with big names who are on the same level it's as almost me, impossible right? because well you'll get there but like what right. you're saying you if you the the guys are starting you don't you get to a point, uh, a boxer who's done his whole life, where they have to take that next. It's like, all right, you got to fight. If you're getting a million pay per views, as long as you keep it interesting and wondering, and that's why it's been brilliant, because there is, and look at the odds. The odds yep. are not that, you're, you're a slight favorite, I believe, last time I saw it, even versus Ben. People don't know what's going to happen. I'll throw a name, by the way, out there that I think would be a huge fight. And I, I was talking to them, and we've talked to it before, is our guy who works for us on Spin Chicklets, Biz. Biz Nasty, a million followers, hockey guy, rough guy, you'd sell a gazillion. Keep that in your back pocket down the road. <laughs> yeah, That's a real. fight he's going to train. I saw was be... going after you, too. He was a hockey guy. Because, guy. But, yeah, but yeah. Yeah. Biz has, not, he doesn't have your following, but he has a rabid following. Yeah. So, yeah. so um, if, if you stick someone in there with me who isn't an experienced fighter, they're, they're gonna yeah, they get, get, get knocked out. And I, I don't get want killed. that. Like, I right. don't want just an easy layup. Like, 6'9 wanted to fight me. Jake Paul versus 6'9 would be That's a huge, huge fight. Huge pay-per-view. Huge pay-per-view, but like, let's be real. That would not Everyone's be gonna be, I, I, it's, it's going actually, down a level. Yeah. I don't yeah. think, well, maybe just because, but like, I wouldn't be interested in that fight. Exactly. It's so, like stupid. Because we, people want to see that, like, is Jake going to do this? There's a curiosity. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah. the, the, the biggest thing that he's created, and credit to all the team, and obviously, by the way, and I've met with the Showtime guys years and years, and they know boxing, they're not signing you to a multi-fight thing if they don't think you can fight. Mm -hmm. The element, the it's almost in a weird way, there's a show, The Contender, that I used to watch. There's an element of nobody knows, but that's what sells tickets. Like, let's see, clearly the power in that. Like, I'm interested in the next one, so you've done a perfect job. When do you think people start calling you a real boxer? I think uh, they already have. I think a lot of the boxing community respects me, and then yep. there's the other half who wants to deny that I'm a real boxer. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm friends with Mike Tyson. He's taking me under his wing. I'm right. friends with Holyfield. Mm -hmm. You know, the Charlo brothers have shown love. So there's a lot of hate, and it's easy to, like, look at that because the dirty dishes always are, you know, what stands out the most. Yes. But there's so much love from the boxing community. Um, and it's good for boxing, to be honest. Yeah. Like, you know, what, am I right that was the now. third biggest, do I have that right? The third biggest pay-per-view, your last fight? Am I making that up in my It was like the 10th biggest pay-per-view. Oh, for the year? The year or all time? I, I think the decade. Got it. That's wow. wild. Wow. I still do think, and I said this after, even though I know you were calling out, I, I think if you keep winning, I think the paychecks will be big enough where they'll be, you'll fight Connor. I honestly believe it. I still think that'll be a mega fight, your biggest. It'll be too much for him to turn down. I mean, I'm the number one fight for Conor McGregor from a money standpoint right now. Right. That's not even including when I beat Tyrone Woodley and I beat whoever after that. After that yep. So it's just going to keep on growing. And Is that your makes... dream guy to fight? Uh, yeah, I think, I think that's kind of how this, this whole journey started. In my head, I was like, I'm, I'm going to do this and build up my record to fight Conor McGregor and, and beat him. Like, I don't want to just fight him. I want to I beat him, and I will beat him. Um, so, you know, people called me crazy when I said it. 18 months ago and now it's like so tangible and it's right there. it looks like it's going to be 18 months you know from now and by the way there's there's other massive names that want to fight me too we're trying to make the Kamaru Usman thing happen which would be you know huge yeah uh he's he's even better than McGregor um so I'd love to make that fight happen and you know Floyd and I need to settle our beef 
So there, there's just a lot of possibilities of like where this can go, which is why I'm just like excited. That would be an interesting one. The Floyd one yeah. for sure would be interesting. That would be a real fight. Um, yeah. We got this one. I don't want to hold you too long. I don't even know what this means. Why do we have this on here that Jake Paul? It, it, I, I know this. I would hope so. You're not sending fake DMs. So what are we talking about here? This, who is Molly May Haig? Oh, this is uh, a Love Island girl, right? This is Tom, Tommy Fury's. Uh, Oh, so maybe you are. Are you trying to build this fight up? Yeah, I want to fight Tommy Fury, 100%. It just, you know, he he is seriously only famous because he's put my name in his mouth. And that's, that's, the, that's the truth of the matter. You know, the only time he gets pressed is when he talks about me. Um, you know, he's fought bums. His, he's 5-0, and oh, but he's fought guys with a combined record of 10 wins and like 250 losses. He's never done a big pay-per-view. Um, he's a reality star, so he needs to fight someone real, do a big pay-per-view, uh, and then... So and is then this a Jake Paul stunt, it. then? You did, yeah, is, is this, this a real or, or is she or saying... She no, she DM'd me this. And bro. then she's saying it's it's fake. Of course she's going to say it's fake. Got it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I mean, would you... No, I... Yeah. What's, what's your response going to be? Dang, he got me. That was <laughs> that's a real DM. Well, if you're promoting a fight, I can see both sides. And we're going to maybe try to get involved, more involved in your next fight. I think uh, Tyrone didn't know what the hell I was doing. When I started that speech, he's like... He's like, whose side are you on? Yeah, because it was all... <laughs> hey, stuff, whatever. You started it off saying you stuff. lost your last book I appreciate fight. you coming on. Uh, it's <laughs> that was funny yeah, no. he's like, <laughs> He was like, what He's the like, who pays you? He's like, I need these guys. Uh, but appreciate you coming on. Uh, and it's fascinating to watch. If you like boxing and it's like the crossroads of shit I'm interested in, which is boxing internet, it's just fascinating. So I appreciate Maybe. it, man. Thank you, bro. Keep on killing yeah. it. Cool. Oh, yeah. Thank Talk you, to you Oh, and uh, by the way, the big cat would knock out Woodley, huh? Uh, I think so. I just <laughs> just trolling. Uh, <laughs> I'm just trolling. Like, we got to see that after. I, there's going to be like a collection of people who I meme turn into memes. And I think they're all just going to start fighting each other. Like, yeah. wouldn't you want to see Nate Robinson versus Ben Askren? Yeah. Be, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know who I, That would be a fight to uh, a loser. I will say. I just mumbled nothing. Big Cat and I got in a, we got in a huge debate one time before any of this. If Mayweather and him could just throw punches at each other's faces, nobody can duck. He thought he, he thought Mayweather would fall first because he's so much bigger. Wow. He was like 230 at the time. Just just punch him just back. Just unlimited face shots. as you tra trade shots. He's okay. like, I Mayweather would go down before I would. We I said you're crazy. Some people are like he's so much bigger, maybe. Who knows? I think the sharpness of a pro boxer's punch is something that a lot of people aren't. It's a weapon. Because yeah, they know exactly yeah. where to hit, too, right? Yeah, like, it's just, you're speed. just standing it's I, I, was told, I thought it was crazy. I was like, you're, you're crazy. But we did have that debate, <laughs> and then you said the knockout. So, all right, we'll let you go. It was good seeing you. Awesome. Thank right. you, guys. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you.